All right, welcome back. If you are one of those people praying that winter will be over soon, join the club. Tomorrow is Groundhog Day, and Patty's here with uh, Kathy Hershey from Wildlife Utopia to talk more about the groundhog legend. Right, Randy? Girl, can you scoot over? I, I, I'm almost sitting on a yeah, floor I'm over here. Just scoot about over about by the, the groundhog. It's not yeah. going to bite you there, Phil. Just, I'm almost yes, sitting on the floor. FOG, fear of groundhogs. Fear of <laughs> groundhogs. There you go. Yeah, tell us about the, the history of ground. Oh, hi, Grubby. Oh. She should be sleeping. I, I'm not is, supposed to touch her. Grubby, right? Grubby is five. Okay. Okay, but, they, but we're not supposed to touch her. No, Grubby she's... is, in fact, a wild animal, and oh, she okay. uh, she acts as a wild animal. She's also been hibernating, so she's a little grumpy. She's a little grumpy. Kind of like Aww. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Highly grumpy. So how did this all begin? Give us the backstory. Back in the day, mm -hmm. um, it was a festival. It was it was kind of a combination of a Druid festival and a uh, uh, Christian festival. And they actually used in Europe they used badgers and uh, hedgehogs. Oh. But because they didn't have them, when German settlers came to the United States, they uh, Pennsylvania they started using groundhogs because they were plentiful. And uh, Punxsutawney, uh, Pennsylvania, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually uh, uh, kind of started to make it a holiday mm -hmm. in the 1890s. Wow! So, yeah, so yeah, if you know, they the see, the what's the difference? See their shadow. If they see their shadow, uh, they are. It's going to be another six weeks of winter. Okay. Yep. If they don't see their shadow, it's going to be a. It's going to be an early spring. Spring oh. around the Go Grubby! Yeah. yeah. Don't see your shadow, Grubby. Look at that. Yeah. I don't think Grubby will see. First shadow tomorrow. I really don't. You think it's, it's going to be early? early? Yeah, well, 8 30 in the morning is that one? Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think, I think, I think it's going to be cloudy. I really do. I, of course, my forecasts are usually the opposite of what happens here. Right. Yeah. So, but, so do, you, do you think it's going to be an early spring then? Is that what you're saying? Well, that's what the groundhog said. That's what the groundhog said. I want to hit the weekend. Uh, the human uh, weather forecaster says that it's going to be a nice day tomorrow for a groundhog. There's no other forecasters. Right. How accurate has Grubby been over the years? Okay, good. She's been, she's about, she's going about 70%. Really? Yeah. Is she that's certified and most reliable there or not? So, yeah. uh, she attended, yeah. she attended Marmot University, so <laughs> yes, yes, she is. That's great. She's and and she's, I think she's way overqualified. Yeah. <laughs> now she's been hibernating, but these are actually, hi Grubby, mm. these are actually, they're related, they're ground squirrels. They are ground to, squirrels and surprisingly they can climb trees and I they can know. swim. Mm -hmm. And uh, they dig yeah. tunnels, which is their big downfall, because they can move up to a thousand pounds of dirt wow. when they build a burrow, wow. and it involves separate rooms. They've got a room that's for the parents, and a bathroom, and an escape route, and so they're pretty complex. Okay. But that's one, not won them a lot of fans mm -hmm. among farmers and right. people who yeah. walk. Uh, <laughs> also, we need to mention trip. that you have this, but you, you are a rehabilitator. You put them back out in the wild, but you have grub because she can't go back in the That's wild. That's correct. She was attacked yeah. by a dog and very oh, nearly yes. killed. Okay. And so oh, we yes. did everything we could to fix her up. And by the time we were finished, she unfortunately was very attached to people. When she was released, she kept going to people. And that was kind of and not she really loved More on that story That's this not weekend, an outcome. <laughs> That's not an outcome we like. Phil would love to hold her. Phil, do you, you want to? His ass I don't think I can. It's a wild, it's a wild animal, right? You're not. Well, you I said, hang around with you. Yeah. Enough. I'm a wild well, I'm animal too. Right? <laughs> By the way, Punks and Tony. Wildlife his name Utopia, is Phil. wonderful <laughs> place. If you'd like to make a donation or go out to see Kathy, you're in Hope, Indiana, mm -hmm. and also Grubby's going to be making an appearance tomorrow. Grubby will be making an appearance tomorrow at the Hope Town Square. And she's going to be predicting spring. Ah, and there afterward, we go. Yep. The, the firehouse is having a pancake breakfast, and there's going to be a reception. Sounds and so good. it'll be a lot of with fun. Donuts. It's a good thing to do. With donuts? With donuts. Ooh, donuts. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so can you, much. Can you hold Grubby, Grubby up so we can see her? Yeah, let's see Grubby. Bit. See her little face? She's hibernating. Uh, they make a lot, they have right, a lot of different hibernating. noises. They call them woodchucks. They call them whistle mm -hmm. pigs because they have a lot of vocalizations that they do. They make Very a lot of noises. Very cute. She's grumbly. All right. She wants to go back to sleep. Uh, what, oh, I'm doing a teach. Uh, yeah, it looks like warmer weather on the 